University of Southern Maine in Gorham. The purpose of this video is to share with students some insights into preparing and ultimately performing your Allstate videos due later this fall. While the video that you have to uh, turn in for Allstate includes scales, it includes your etude piece and your solo. Let's start with Scheherazade because this is a, a challenging one for a lot of people um, for several reasons, and we're, we're being asked to play a long melody. So the four keys to this piece, that we start with a pickup on 5-6 instead of 6-1. It's 5-6, 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay? And right in the first two bars, we have rhythm, rhythm issues. So make sure your rhythm is super solid. That's the key number one. Uh, we want to think subdivision of one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and that never changes throughout the piece until the very end. Um, the second key is that we use uh, quite a wide variety of dynamics in this piece. Uh, so we have to be accustomed to that. I, there's even poco crescendos written in. Um, there's subito forte near the end, pickups to bar 25. And the, where it also says cantable, which means very singing. We have a molto ritardando, molto rallentando at the very end. And so you can go five, six, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and a one, two, three, four, five, six. So you need lots of air for that, even though it's piano at the end. Um, so those are the, some of the, the keys. Getting breaths is a key for this as well. So I find it helpful when you have a tied note to the next note. For example, in bar two, where you have a dotted quarter tied to an eighth note, you kind of cheat the eighth note, like cut that eighth note off and take a breath there. Insert a breath there in its place. And therefore, you won't lose time and you'll be able to get a quick breath to start the next phrase. Okay? Um, I'm not sure there are too many other things to talk about other than B naturals in one, two, and three if you don't have a fourth valve, or if you have a fourth valve like I do, two and four. So I like to use C on the valve, on the fourth valve, and B on two and four. So if you can make those in tune, that's terrific. So let's just have fun with this. I'll play a little of this. Um, when you see the grace notes in bar seven, six, seven, bar seven, Try not to upset the structure of the bar with those grace notes. They're supposed to be just ornamental, okay? Here's what Scheherazade sounds like on euphonium. One, two, three. <laughs>
And now we come to the Oscar Boom piece, um, which presents several challenges, but is oh so fun to play. So I hope you're, you enjoy working on this piece. A couple of the, the, uh, the challenges are strictly just rhythmic. I mean, again, it's rhythm. It's all rhythm. Um, syncopation, coming off the beat, coming off ties, and dynamics. So please pay attention to dynamics and rhythm for the most part in this piece. If you start practicing at, in 4-4 four -four time instead of cut time, um, it'll help organize your beats at 120, which is uh, 60 to the half note. <laughs> playing the whole thing at 120. Let's bump it up to 140, which is 70 to the half note. say, um, can you play this faster? You'll have an answer, yes I can. Uh, but you'll be putting this down on video and I hope your video process goes very well. Good luck everybody. 